Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Money here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I have to shut down all of my mining rigs in my barn location here because I'm finally getting the 200 amp new line coming into the house. So finally I'll have more essentially power capacity to run more mining rigs and you know, A6 as well if I wanted. And yeah, I have to unfortunately shut down everything. And so the installation is gonna happen the next day. So I'm gonna be down for, I would say the next eight hours or so. Actually, no, probably the next two days. I'm gonna be down. Again, I'm going down when everything is really nice right now in terms of mining and it sucks. So I'm gonna just do a little montage here of shutting everything down. My Radeon 7 rig, the 2070, 8x2070 rig, my 1080 Ti rig, and my hodgepodge of uh, 20 series cards, 2060, 2060 supers. I got a 2070 and an RTX uh, 2080 uh, right here. So yeah, I'm gonna have to shut down all these rigs and my A6 that are over here. Uh, let's just do a roll call here. I got an A10 Pro. This is the 500 mega hash version, I believe the five gigabyte version. And then I got the Z or Z15. I got the IBLink BMK1. And I have the new Inosilicon A10 750 mega hash A10 Pro, okay? With seven gigabytes of memory on this one, so yeah. Crazy, crazy ASIC. I'll have an update video for you guys later on. I can just say right now, I'm mining on Nanopool on this thing and it's going really well. And I did figure out the auto-tuning issue because it was nice hash that was giving me the issue. And yeah, anyways guys, let's go ahead. I'm just gonna montage, just shutting it all down and then I will see you guys in my crypto mining basement. I gotta do something over there. I think that'll be really fun, all right? So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back in my crypto mining studio 
and <laughs> you can see that all of my shelves and everything are still in this room and it's been I would say about three weeks now since I moved everything out from my basement and you guys know why I had to do that because we are finally getting a 200 amp new circuit coming in tomorrow as of making this video so that circuit panel is all going to be new we're going to get a new i believe 40 80 panel and then a new 200 amp line coming from the power lines essentially and then coming into the house here so that's going to be all changed tomorrow i cannot wait and i'm going to have some plans on getting three 30 amp plugs like around here that's what i'm thinking or maybe potentially here i'm not really sure how i'm going to have my shelves out here I was thinking of just doing a straight line that way and you guys know I do have my 18 inch exhaust fan over there okay up in that window and potentially if it gets too hot in here and of course summer is going to come in the next six months and I may potentially put another fan on that window so we'll see what kind of configuration we're going to do in my crypto mining basement here it's going to be just insane and a lot of fun I'll definitely you know vlog the whole journey for you guys just doing everything in this basement I'm actually just I'm really excited to finally have more power capacity tomorrow all right so hopefully everything goes good I can't wait for that and I just can't wait to have some of my mining rigs down in the basement here and then hopefully get cleared of my crypto mining studio here I just have so much junk in here I <laughs> I need to actually uh, get out that mining rig there you guys probably know that is the Minebox 12 that one right now has 11 RX 584 gigabyte cards and they've been off for like three weeks and I really want to get that going and I do have a Radeon 7 sitting right there that's been doing nothing you guys know that is my single Radeon 7 which I was able to uh, break even after about a year and eight months or so and I actually did hodl all of the profits from that single Radeon 7 so it actually made like a lot more since the run-up uh, that we had recently I think like almost 3x okay so so I'm able to buy three more Radeon 7s from the profits that that thing has mined over the past two years it's just it's just crazy but anyways guys I wanted to yeah take that Mindbox 12 out and I wanted to put eight of the RX 584 gigabyte cards uh, into this Rosewill server case you guys probably remember I used to have eight P104s in here so yeah I'm gonna take that out right now actually and uh, we'll quickly get that built and I just want to get these RX 580s mining Raven coin all right so uh, be right back okay <laughs> this looks really cool you guys remember these are the sapphire nitros so yeah they all don't have their GPU shrouds on them like the sapphire nitro shrouds and yeah it's just bare with the GPU cooler on them and yeah so I want to take out eight of these sapphire nitros and put them into this case because I do have another location which I can't really show and uh, it's in like a you know server rack type of thing so I want to bring this over there the rest of the cards I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do probably giveaways or something because uh, RX 580 4 gigabyte cards aren't as profitable right now I mean it's okay but it's not as great as mining these on like ethereum and you guys know the four gigabyte DAG these are not really good on mining with the zombie mode anymore as the DAG gets bigger and bigger so yeah all right so you'll see eight of these in here all right so three two one all right <laughs> eight of the 580 four gig cards are in and man that was uh really hard to put in the last one but I finally did it anyways this is the configuration and uh, just to let you guys know as well uh, I am not putting in the six pin on the RX 580R I'm just doing the eight pin apparently you can run these cards with just the single eight pin so I guess we're gonna try that out later and see what happens and uh, unfortunately we cannot run it here in my crypto mining basement because <laughs> we're getting that installed the new 200 amp tomorrow so we're gonna go to my uh, crypto mining garage 
and uh, test it out there and we'll just see what kind of hash rate we get as well as the power consumption uh, through the 200 watt power supply okay guys and uh, just to let you guys know as well this Mindbox 12 I do have another plan for it in the future I do have 12 new GPUs coming okay well new to me and we'll see if they can uh, actually fit on this Mindbox 12 so that'll be a really fun video in the future and hopefully that'll be when I have all of my shelves and all of the uh, the new 30 amp plugs in this area here so yeah that'll be time when I do that okay anyways guys I will see you in the crypto mining garage let's go Okay, you guys can see I have the rig in my basement here and before I turn it on I want to figure out the power consumption that I will get in Hive OS mining Ravencoin. So I'm gonna say 3675, okay? What we're at initially because I do have other mining rigs going in my garage here. So, okay, so we have the number there. Let's go ahead. Let's turn this on. I already have it plugged in for power and let's hit the power button. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, I think it's on and it's very, very loud because of the Delta fans. Okay, so I'm gonna let this boot up and we'll see if we can see it in Hive OS. Give me one sec. Okay, so literally after about two days, I had major issues trying to get this rig going. And initially, it just wasn't mining. It says I was getting like uh, Hive OS error. Something about uh, GPU error uh, on two different cards. I had to basically take each card out and do one by one. Ultimately, I think I figured out that it was one GPU that was bad and also a riser. So it took me a while to do some troubleshooting. And yeah, I think this 580 that I had in there, it was causing some, some fault of some sort and as well as a riser, unfortunately. Uh, but that fixed that and now, you guys can see, it is mining just perfectly. Getting about, I think, 13 to 15 mega hash, sometimes 15 mega hash, sometimes 11 mega hash. This is Kapow, so the algorithm does change, the mega hash is gonna change. But overall, we're getting, yeah, pretty good numbers here. But at the wall, we are utilizing, I believe, I think about 11 or 1200 watts, okay? So I, I actually don't remember what we were at before, but uh, I'll put it on the screen here so you guys can do the math, how much power we're using, and I probably have to do some uh, fine tuning for sure. But this rig is not going to be staying here, so it's gonna be in another place where it's gonna have like air conditioning and stuff. So anyways guys, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you in this video here's the final hash rate again and yeah that looks pretty good okay guys that's it for this video let me know your thoughts and oh i can't wait for the 200 amp at my basement that's going to be really fun okay my friends so i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one and peace out